Increased new car incentives are expected as the year goes on, but that depends on the brand. And today we'll share with you what some of those brands are with improving incentives right now. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, incentives reached a yearly high in May, according to Kelly Blue Book. Analysts expected incentives to grow with certain brands that experience high inventory in the second half of 2023, and there are several of them. Makes total sense to me. Vehicle incentives are rising with fast-growing inventories, and analysts project that trend will continue throughout the year, with some brands being higher than others. Average incentives reached a yearly high of $1,914 per vehicle in May, according to Kelly Blue Book. That equates to 3.9% of the average transaction price for the month. A year ago, the incentive equaled 2.5%. When we compare with past historic levels, May incentives are still on the low side. In May 2019, for example, before the pandemic, incentives approached 10% of the average transaction price, Kelly Blue Book said. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that was also on lower MSRP vehicles in the first place, and people were buying at or below dealer invoice. While that looked good from a consumer standpoint, it wasn't actually all that good for dealerships. Looking ahead to the rest of the year, Michelle Krebs, executive analyst at Cox Automotive said, the first half has surprised us in how strong vehicle sales have been, she told Automotive News. We anticipate sales will be a little bit softer in the second half, and so that's when we might see incentives increase because inventories will continue increasing. But it won't be everybody does incentives. Inventory is improving overall, and it's improving by brand, but not in an even manner. Toyota and Kia, for example, have very low inventory, whereas Ram and Jeep are at the high end and have been for quite some time. Higher inventory will likely lead to more incentives, with some pickup brands increasing incentives by fall. Currently, Ram is offering 10% off MSRP on certain trucks, but Toyota or Honda won't be boosting incentives anytime soon. J.D. Power reports that there is a potentially significant rise in incentives coming. The report reads, We are expecting to see continued growth in incentives as inventory picks up, so it could potentially double from where we were last year. One important thing to note here is that we are seeing some differences between OEMs. So not all OEMs have seen a return to incentives, but a lot of this has to do with the fact that as inventory is picking up, the vehicles we're seeing built maybe aren't perfectly aligning with what consumers are demanding. We discussed in a recent show that pre-COVID inventory levels are unlikely to return, but trim mixes and turn rates may gradually return to past expectations. A return to trims that were available in past years, instead of just the expensive top-of-the-line trims we're seeing now, would be majorly effective to dropping prices. Even so, U.S. vehicle buyers in May paid on average less than sticker price, a constant trend since January. The average price new car buyers in May paid was less than $410 below sticker. That's a sharp contrast to May 2022, when the average transaction price was $637 more than the sticker, and some people paid a lot more than that. New vehicle sales in May were up 22% from a year ago levels, driven by lower prices, increased inventory, and fleet deliveries, Kelly Blue Book said. The modest new vehicle price increase in May was offset by increased incentives, so many buyers were able to find deals below sticker. Consumers in May paid an average of $44,960 for a non-luxury vehicle, up $158 from April. Ford and Kia had the highest at more than 3% over sticker price in May, Kelly Blue Book said. That's just insane, friends. you got to stop doing that stuff. Totally. In the luxury segment, the average new car buyer in May paid $64,396 in May, up $239 from April. Luxury cars in May also had the highest incentives, equaling 7.7% of transaction prices. And these price averages are not spread equally across the country. Sevek Adam Yan, sales director for Pacific BMW in Glendale, California, said he doesn't see incentives coming to his dealership in the near future. We need to have inventory before they start to give incentives, he told Automotive News. Even though we have inventory coming, they've done a really good job on pushing us to pre-sell cars. I have 70 cars in stock where I used to have 600. So why would you give any incentives? Good point. Strong luxury vehicle sales, which accounted for 18.4% of total May sales, have had a significant impact on overall elevated new vehicle prices, Kelly Blue Book said. The luxury share has fallen slightly since February, when it hit 19.5% of total monthly sales. Briefly, EVs are walking a tricky line right now. New EV transaction prices in May fell significantly year over year, down $9,370 or 14%. 
the average price paid for a new EV in May was $55,488, about the same as April. Prices for new EVs reached a high last June, but dropped to more than $5,800 this year, while EV incentives are on an upward cycle, Kelly Bluebuck said. The 44% year-over-year uptick in May EV sales was likely due to tax credits and incentives. With interest rates growing alongside demand for new vehicles, finding a good deal on a new car can be challenging. Luckily, there are plenty of decent offers out there for those of you who need to buy a car now. We've combed through the top incentives available this June. There are actually several attractive financing offers, especially in this high interest market. Those special rates reduce the amount of interest you'll pay on an auto loan. For example, Honda is offering a financing deal this June on the 2023 Honda Accord that calls for 2.9% interest over a four-year term. That's much lower than the current national average interest rate for a new car loan, which stands at 6.84%. Yeah. Other notable offers this June include a four-year 2.49% financing deal on the 2023 Hyundai Elantra sedan. Sports car shoppers can also nab 0.9% financing for three years on a 2023 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Notice how these low interest rates are also for shorter terms, something we definitely approve of. Of course, the best option is to pay no interest at all. The 2023 Ford Escape and Nissan Rogue are compact SUVs that are both available with 0% financing for three years. Mazda is also offering 0% financing for three years on the sporty 2023 CX-9, a midsize SUV. Finally, Nissan has a no interest financing deal for up to five years on its 2023 Titan. The other type of incentives are rebates, also called cash back deals, bonus cash, cash allowance, or customer credit. But they all work the same way and provide an upfront discount to the vehicle's starting price. For instance, Hyundai is offering a substantial $5,000 discount on the 2023 Ionic 5, which would slice the EV's base price from $41,450 to $36,450. If an electric sedan is more your speed, you can get a $3,750 cash discount on the 2023 Hyundai Ionic 6 this June. Mazda is looking to clear out remaining 2023 CX-9 models with a $3,000 cash allowance. There's also a $2,750 cash back offer on the 2023 Dodge Durango SUV this month. Are you looking for a pickup or an SUV? Jeep is hanging a $3,000 discount tag on 2023 Jeep Gladiator models. Certain trims of the 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz are available with $2,000 cash back. And some 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 models can be had with a 2250 cashback incentive. Just make sure to read the fine print when choosing a cashback deal. Typically, those deals require you to secure your own financing or accept an interest rate that the automaker offers. Yeah. Depending on the rate and length of the loan, these factors may cancel out any savings from the cashback discount. Always read the fine print and understand it before you make any decisions. And if you're not seeing incentives in your area, look outside your region. Yes, every region gets its own level of incentive. There are also some June leasing deals. The 2023 Kia Forte is leasing for just $199 per month for two years, with 3,018 duet siding, likely tax title and license too, while the 2023 Honda HRV leases for $259 a month for three years, with $33.99 required up front. The midsize 2023 Hyundai Sonata sedan. Leases for $269 per month for three years with $34.99 due when you sign. Mazda's top-ranking SUV, the 2023 CX-5, can be yours for $299 each month for three years with $29.99 down. If a third-row seat is a must, consider options like a mid-size SUV or a minivan. The 23 Subaru Ascent leases for $359 a month for three years with $32.59 due at siding, while the 23 Toyota Sienna lease deal rings in at $399 per month over three years with a $39.99 down payment. Other notable offers include a $400 per month lease on the 2023 Ford Mustang, which calls for a four-year term and $33.17 down. There are also a few good options if you're looking to lease a pickup truck. The 23 Toyota Tacoma leases for $339 per month for three years with $39.99 due up front. And the full-size 23 Chevy Silverado has a $419 per month lease deal for two years with $51.79 down. Good luck out there, friends. I'd like to mention that when it comes to leases, make sure you're being allowed to drive the needed miles yes. you need for your commutes or whatever. A common tactic in recent lease deals is to squeeze customers down to 10,000 miles a year you don't want to get hit with a big mileage charge shock when your lease is over. That sucks. Yeah. 
Let's conclude this with some very exciting news for our viewers. Friends, we just stated yesterday that we are just mere days away from launching our first Homework Guy assisted hassle-free new car buying process. And it's most likely in the state of Florida with Toyota. California is also an early state to launch, likely to go live too. Super excited to be talking about this here today. If you jumped on our notification list when we first started talking about this, don't be surprised when I call you and say, hello, my friend, this is the Homework Guy. We are ready to do this. By the way, if you're new here to the Homer Guy channel, the hassle-free new car buying process Liz just mentioned is not too late for you to get on the list. Find the link in the description box below or visit our website, thehomerguy.com, to find it. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we do here for you. Right here, courtesy of the Homer Guy team and our show, is where you will always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And we so appreciate the trust and confidence that thousands of you have shown us by getting on the notification list for our new hassle-free car buyers list. It's going to be awesome when it launches and that day is looming just around the corner. Find the link just below the video and also on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. If you're new here, we invite you to join our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business, and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.